changing your life one story at a time. This is the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast with Editor-in-Chief Amy Newmark. Hey, it's Amy Newmark with your daily dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration to make you simply happy. It's Wow Wednesday. And if you're a regular listener, you know that on Wednesdays, there are a couple of topics I return to over and over again. One of them is love stories, and the other is dreams, and the weird way that dreams reveal to us our true feelings and also help to predict our futures. Today, we're going to combine those two topics with a couple of great stories from Chicken Soup for the Soul, Dreams, and Premonitions. Our first story is called Matchmaker and it's by Stephanie Lieberman. Stephanie tells us that she and her friend Evan had been friends for about 10 years, but then for some stupid reason, an argument, they hadn't spoken to each other in more than eight months, and they lived a thousand miles apart. Then one night, Stephanie dreamt that she and Evan were ballroom dancing. She was wearing a gorgeous, sparkly red ball gown, and Evan was looking handsome in a tuxedo. In the dream, Stephanie was crying into Evan's shoulder as they danced because she had missed him so much and she was so happy to see him. And then Stephanie woke up and felt an overwhelming desire to talk to Evan. She called him, and when he answered, she said, I had a dream about you. Evan asked, did it involve dancing? Stephanie was surprised, and she said that it did, but how did he know that? And he told her that he had the same dream, and he described it, and it was the exact same dream that she had. They decided that Stephanie would visit him the following week, and she did, and it was like a movie. He said, I can't do this without you anymore. You're the missing piece in my life. And she broke down in happy tears. They've been married for several years now, all because of that miraculous shared dream that brought them back together. So Stephanie dreamed about a man she already knew. But another writer in Chicken Soup for the Soul, Dreams and Premonitions, went one step further. Rachel Lee woke up one morning in July 2012, remembering fragments of a very vivid dream. In this dream, she was having dinner at a restaurant with a handsome, dark-haired man named Marco. As she lay in bed recalling the dream, she was surprised about how real it had seemed. But she didn't know anyone named Marco, and anyway, it was just a dream, so she decided to forget about it. She was 31, and she hadn't been in a serious relationship for a while, and she had basically given up on finding love. Rachel was living in Melbourne, Australia at that time, but she started thinking about moving to another city. She couldn't explain it, but something was compelling her to move to Fremantle, which is a coastal city in Western Australia that she had always loved visiting. So she booked herself into an inexpensive hostel in Fremantle, and off she went on September 19th, a little more than two months after she had that dream about the handsome man named Marco. What Rachel didn't know was that on that exact same day, a 28-year-old Italian man had boarded a flight from Venice to Melbourne. He stayed in Melbourne for a few days, did some sightseeing, and then decided that he would prefer the west coast of Australia. So he took a plane to Perth, which is just 16 miles from Fremantle. That flight ended up being delayed by a few hours, and by the time Marco arrived at Perth Airport, it was well past midnight, too late for him to go searching for a hotel room. So he decided to settle in for an uncomfortable night's sleep on the chairs at the airport, when, as luck would have it, A flight attendant who had just finished her shift approached him. He explained the situation to her, and she offered to drive him to a hostel that was on the way to her house. She dropped him off at the hostel that Rachel had just checked into. The rest is history. Rachel and Marco have been together five years now, and they've moved back to Melbourne from Fremantle, where they met. That book about dreams and premonitions is awesome. I think I've told dozens of stories from it on the podcast by now. And we're actually in the process of selecting the stories for a new book on the same theme. It's coming out at the end of the summer, and it's called Chicken Soup for the Soul, Dreams and the Unexplainable. And we're working with the same dreams expert as our last book, 
uh, and that's Kelly Sullivan Walden, who's been on the podcast several times. I'm excited about sharing stories from that new book with you this fall. In the meantime, if you want to learn how to use your dreams to improve your life, pick up Chicken Soup for the Soul, Dreams and Premonitions. And come back tomorrow for another episode of the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast. Tomorrow is Thoughtful Thursday, and we're going to talk about love again, but this time about the lengths that our military heroes, our service members, will go to in order to spend time with their families. It's another inspiring look inside our new book, Chicken Soup for the Soul, Military Families.